Wayne loves to have a purpose. He would have been a great doctor. He would have been a great architect. We call him Braveheart. That's his nickname, because he's our protector. He's an advocate for people who aren't represented, for the environment, for our planet. We got married in 1963, and every day, Wayne and I wake up and say, thank you, Lord, for this day. Wayne inspires people to follow his lead. He shows a passion for things that he believes in and a willingness to work really hard to make things happen. You know, Wayne is 83 years old and he has not slowed down since he was 19. He's busy all the time. He sleeps about five hours a night on a good night. He makes 30-year-olds feel lazy. He's ridiculous. If I can keep up with him slightly, then that's really a great day for me. He is the most determined person I have ever known. He doesn't run in neutral. He runs at top speed every minute of his day. Wayne shows a respect and a love for Beth and for his family that you just have to admire. He loves life. He loves people. He so loves his family and he loves this institution, MD Anderson. Wayne is a larger-than-life legend who has done unbelievable work for MD Anderson for 57 years. He's just a whirlwind, and he always has been. He's incredibly capable and incredibly loving and a fierce protector. He's like a force of nature. Mom and Dad, I can't imagine them without each other. Dad was 26 years old. He was going to marry a girl who they were told would not be alive by their wedding day. And my grandmother, who was a nurse, came to my father and said, everyone will understand if you need to leave. And he not only stuck around, he stayed with my mom while they were engaged. She got married weighing about 80 pounds, couldn't stand up during their wedding ceremony. They spent their honeymoon at some lake in Texas, and he would take her out in the water and swim with her. It was terrifying being diagnosed with cancer just as you're about to start your life, and you find that it's going to be over. It gave me such a deep and real gratitude for life, which also gives me a deep gratitude for the doctors and the nurses and the people who run the administration. When his fiance was given months to live after a diagnosis of cancer, and then getting to watch her walk down the aisle and be his bride had to have tremendous impact on what Wayne does and what he thinks about MD Anderson. The doctors told us that we probably couldn't, wouldn't have children. And we resigned ourselves to that. And then about two and a half years or three after we were married, we found out we were going to have Elizabeth. We were so thrilled. She's a miracle to us. So I'm an only child. I was his precious only child. I don't think there was anything that I ever did that he missed. Waking up at four in the morning and driving horse trailers all over the country. And he would do anything. He's been the most incredible grandfather to my boys. When MD Anderson saved my mom's life from her terminal diagnosis, my dad sort of vowed to Lee Clark He'd do whatever he could to work for the institution, and that's what he's done. The two of them really dedicated themselves to MD Anderson and how they could really create a future for the organization and extend our mission in so many ways that have benefited so many people here in Texas and around the world. I watched my father work for the board and work for the hospital as if it were a full-time job. Honestly, I think it's his calling. I think Wayne is one of the key people who have put MD Anderson on the map. I think a lot of people don't know about it until somebody introduces them to it. And Wayne is the one who has opened that door for so many people to understand what's happening right on this campus at MD Anderson. First, Wayne has been just an incredible representative in virtually every capacity 
a spokesperson for this institution, always talking about the value of the scientists, the researchers, the medical doctors, the staff. I mean, there couldn't be a better spokesperson for MD Anderson than Wayne. He also is a dynamic fundraiser among much, much more. When we look at our clinical services, we look at our research mission, we look at our commitment to education and prevention, all four of those mission areas have been enhanced by Wayne's contributions. Life member status is a way in which we can acknowledge, recognize, and celebrate exceptional contributions to our Board of Visitors. He has spent his life doing things that have helped build up MD Anderson Cancer Center. He's our ultimate ambassador. Wayne, you have set an example for us all. You've been a great friend to me over the years and just watching you has made me a better person. We are number one in the world, the number one cancer center in the world, in large part because of our doctors, our researchers, and so many others. But we're also number one because of the volunteers who put their heart and their soul into Andy Anderson. And I know of nobody who's done a better job at that for so long than the person that we award this life membership today. And that's my friend, Wayne Gibbons. Uh, I just wanted to say congratulations to my wonderful grandfather. I can't think of a man more deserving of this wonderful award. I'm extremely proud of you and just so excited to continue to see the good that you do in people's lives. So um, congratulations. This is all just a gift to the world and to the hospital and we love you so much. Every day, every step you've taken, you've been such a hardworking and wonderful and loving person. And I'm just gonna love you till the day I die. And you can count on that. Congratulations. Wayne, thank you for everything that you've done. I need you to be with me for another 57 years. I am so happy for you, but Wayne, don't think this is your ticket to ride into the sunset. All of the Board of Visitors is still here to serve alongside you as we work together to make cancer history.